Welcome back to the Daily Grind, everyone. So today, I'm gonna do um, another row of this Florida Weave, it's called. Um, basically, it's just an easy way to trellis your tomato plants, okay? Because they're getting a little overgrown, as you can see here. Um, oh, getting pretty high up over, this is the last one, so these are, you know, they're growing well, so that's that's good. So it's time to do this. So. This shade cloth does make it difficult, I'm gonna be honest. It's much easier, let, let me put it that way, without this here, um, but it's still possible. But I'm basically, I'm just looking down the row and I'm seeing kind of where it's gonna to touch most of the plants. Um, so I'm gonna say like right here, so that way I at least get this one and that one over there. So we'll start here, put the scissors down for a second. And as you can see, this um, shade cloth definitely makes it a little more difficult. <laughs> so I just do, not that I'm an expert here, so I'm sure there's better ways of doing this, but. So I just tie it off, I do a couple half hitches. There we go. And then I just kind of work it over here. I can't reach it, but it's on this. So I just kind of throw it. <laughs> and you want to weave it through the plants. So for instance, it's going to be hard here. This is all, uh, let's see if I can get up under. All right. So with this over there, it came on this side of that plant. So now it's going to come on this side of this plant. Okay, we're gonna get these positioned correctly. And might have been a little high. It's okay, we're gonna lower this because that one's really tall. Let's lower this side a little bit. Kinda wanna keep them even, but on one side's taller, the other one isn't. All right, there we go. So let's, I wrap around this three times. By the way, this is jute fiber. You don't have to use jute. But if I wrap around that three times, look, I can give some slack and it still holds it, okay? So we're gonna come in on this side this time and see how it kind of grasps um, that. So it's gonna hold up this plant. And I'm gonna throw that over there. And we come back around. Again, this is super easy. Come back around. Hopefully that's not in your way. Um, Kind of twisted that and that would be okay but might as well not and then it came on this side so let's grasp it on the other you can see all that kind of twists it there and it kind of holds everything together and then i come in here and this is now i don't need all this i can take this right off give myself enough room and there we go Cut off that. Let's move this back a little bit. And I just wrap around. And then I just tie it off with a another half hitch. A couple of them. You want to make this tight. You can see it's pretty taut. Now down here, this is all loose. Okay, um, the further down it gets because I mean, over time this kind of loosens up. But at least it's a little bit tight for now. It's gonna hold these pretty well. Let's space this out a little bit. We've got two shoots coming up. All right, here we go. It's looking pretty good. And by the way, I've got pretty good explosive growth on all this. I mean, that's way bigger than it was. And I gotta do some trimming. Well, I'm gonna get to doing this row here and this row here. Now I don't do it on these, these are staked. They're more of a bush variety. <clears throat> they don't grow super tall. This is probably about the max that they're gonna grow. This one up front is a little bit short, but you can see that one back there is pretty tall. This is about the max, so. But these will keep growing, they get real tall. All the vine ones, um, 
the determinant versus indeterminate, right? So um, these are determinant right here, and those are indeterminate. So um, so let me get finished uh, getting those trellised, and I'll show you guys the result. All right, so there we go. I got them all tied up. This one, it'll, it'll grow up through it. Um, kind of looks a little matted right now, but it'll open up and grow up through it. This one was pretty tall. So, but I wanted to give enough support for that, but it should have still some support through it. And there we go. So each one of them is now retied up. I got this one here. You can see this one's not quite as tall <clears throat> as this one. It almost isn't reaching. But once this gets a little taller, which it will, then I can just kind of separate it. And same thing with any of them, but I can just separate it and, you know, bring it up through the weave to make sure that it's being supported. And there we go. All done. Got the one more set of Florida weave done. It took me about 10 minutes to do all of them. And so for me, this is one of the easiest and quickest. You just put up a T-post on either side of whatever row you're going to do. And that's it. Well, thanks for watching. I will see you guys on the next video. Now you try to escape the daily grind.